I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, host of Nova Science Now. You ever wondered what would happen if you dug a hole from one side of the Earth, through the center, out the other side, and then jumped in? Before we show you, a few disclaimers. If there was any air in the hole, air resistance would slow me down. So let's ignore that. Earth's molten core is 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit. On the way past, you'd simply be vaporized. So let's ignore that too. We would also have to ignore Earth's spin, which would make me ricochet from side to side down the hole. And please don't try this experiment on the actual Earth. All right, here we go. I fall gaining speed as Earth's mass pulls me towards the center. 14 minutes into my fall, halfway to the center, and I've accelerated to more than 15,000 miles an hour. Here, there's only half the force of gravity than on the surface. So I'm still gaining speed, but at a slower rate than when I first jumped in. 21 minutes into my fall, and I'm at the center of the Earth, going my fastest, about 18,000 miles an hour. As I pass the center, gravity now works against me slowing me down. And by the time I make it halfway between the core and the other side of the Earth, I'm back down to about 15,000 miles an hour. It'll take only 42 minutes to make the entire trip to the other side, at which point I'll slow to a full stop. Just like when I started, all of Earth's mass will pull me back towards the core. Unless somebody catches me, I'll fall down the hole again and yo-yo back and forth forever. Thank you. No problem. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. Watch Nova Science Now, Wednesdays starting in June on most PBS stations.